Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read a story about, a, about lots of caterpillars, 10, 10 little caterpillars. But before we do that, I would like to take a look at our butterfly life cycle and take a look at what we've been talking about this week, Mrs. Van Campen and I, with a metamorphosis. So our butterfly life cycle starts out with an egg. That egg becomes a caterpillar, which eats and eats and eats and grows and grows and grows until it becomes a chrysalis where it makes its little home hanging from a branch. And then it has to be very patient, we learned yesterday, until God turns it into a butterfly. And then that butterfly lays its egg on the branch and we start all over again in the cycle. So today we're going to hear about 10 little caterpillars, but before we do that, I thought we would have some fun remembering some of our sign language. I hope, boys and girls, that you remember some of the sign language and some of the things we learned in class for sign language. If I do this, do you remember what that sign language is? Mom. And if I do this, from mom becomes grandma. Very good. Do you remember what the sign language is for dad? Yep, up here on your forehead, dad. And then if I do that, I'll bet you know that that means grandpa. So mom, grandma, dad, grandpa. All right. Boy, remember that one like you're pinching your hat for a boy. And girl, with your thumb to your chin like you have a little bonnet string or a hat string. Good. Do you remember, boys and girls, this was one of our favorite ones. When we took our breaks before we ate our lunches, what does this mean? Clean. Ooh, who can remember what means dirty? Dirty, the opposite. Dirty. Dirty and clean. Very good. Today we're going to learn some sign language numbers, so numbers that we can do. Now you would think in sign language that we can just go like this with our numbers all the way up to 10, but really you can't. When we do sign language numbers, we only use one hand, and our hand even has to be facing a certain way. So take your hand and face it with the back side out to whoever you're doing your sign language numbers to, and we'll start like this. One two, and then here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Our thumb comes out for three, four, the thumb comes back in, and five. Now flip your hand around and we will do six, you'll touch your pinky to your thumb, seven, your ring finger to your thumb, eight, your middle finger to your thumb, and nine, your index finger to your thumb. And watch this for 10. 10, we wiggle it back and forth, 10. Let's try that one more time, are you ready? Face your hand this way, with the back toward the person that you're doing your sign language numbers to. And let's do one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's use those numbers today as we read our book, The Ten Little Caterpillars. All right, The Ten Little Caterpillars is written by Bill Martin and illustrated by Lois Alert. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. So put up your one for your first caterpillar. A bower is a nice shady spot. And there's that little caterpillar crawling up in that nice shady spot. The second little caterpillar wiggled up a flower. Ooh, look at all those beautiful, beautiful spring flowers. I love those. All right, ready for three? How do you do sign language three again, boys and girls? Can you show me? Three, with that thumb poking out. The third little caterpillar climbed 
a cabbage head. Look at that little guy. Boys and girls, if you look at the pages on this book, you'll see a lot of animals that would like to eat those little caterpillars. So, so many things that are on these pages that make a caterpillar their lunch. All right, here comes number four. The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. If you look really closely, there's that little guy right there. He's crawling up a melon. Mm. The fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. Look at that. He's taking a little trip on a leaf right in that pool. Oh, my goodness. Okay, flip your hand, boys and girls. Here comes number six. Six. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. Oh, I remember when we had in school, when we would have little animals and little things that we found and put them in our observation box. That's what happened to that little caterpillar. Okay, ready for seven? Take the ring finger down. Seven. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. Oh boy, that guy better hide because that wren is going to gobble that guy right up. Ooh, okay, here comes number eight, our middle finger to our thumb. Eight, the eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. There's another thing that likes to eat our caterpillar friend. Okay, number nine, put your finger, first finger and your thumb together, nine. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea. Ooh, that fish looks like he's going to get him. And ready for the tenth? Shake your thumb. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. Oh, there he is. And hung there patiently. This is such an interesting chrysalis right here. It almost looks like a leaf, doesn't it, boys and girls? I love that. Sometimes God camouflages those chrysalises so much that we can't even see them. And it helps because maybe that bird doesn't notice that that's a chrysalis. Until, by and by, the tenth little caterpillar... Here he is right here, still in his chrysalis, but I see his head poking out. Became a butterfly. How beautiful is that? Wonderful are 10 little caterpillars. If you ever get a chance to take a look at this book, the back shows these beautiful caterpillars and then the kind of butterflies they turn into. It is really, really amazing. I love this story. Here is the butterfly that's behind me, this one, the monarch butterfly. And that's what that one turns into. So boys and girls, before we're done, let's review our numbers again. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And our last sign language is butterfly. Butterfly. Oh, we should do one more. And caterpillar. That's a sign language for caterpillar, like it's crawling up your arm. Caterpillar and butterfly. Boys and girls, enjoy this beautiful day. And thank you so much for listening to my story. Love you. Bye-bye.